The man in charge of getting Eastern Gateway Community College back on track says he can't make any promises that the college will be able to continue operating. John Crook's comments add a new layer of uncertainty. One day after the school's Board of Trustees suddenly announced that they would suspend enrollment. Leslie Huff has been looking for answers about what comes next for the thousands of students and employees. Good evening, Leslie. Derek and Madison, good evening. Students and staff are scrambling to understand what this pause actually means for them long term. The president says it's too soon to tell. It's uh, a situation that we are trying to figure out and and right at this point in time do not have a way out of it. Student enrollment at Eastern Gateway Community College is on pause for the summer and fall semesters. Interim President John Crooks says right now the school doesn't have the money to stay open or pay faculty, and he doesn't know when or if that may change. There is no guarantee at this point. We are in a pause, and that means that we are evaluating the situation. About 2,000 students are still graduating this spring, but the remaining 7,000 won't be getting their degrees at Eastern Gateway in the foreseeable future. Crooks says they only have enough funds to cover the spring semester, so now they're partnering with YSU and other community colleges so current students can have other options. We are making plans with institutions, primarily Youngstown State University, but also sister community colleges, such as uh, Stark State Community College, Belmont College, Washington State, to make sure students and their educational pursuits are not paused. He's hoping the difference in tuition will be minimal, but the union president tells me it's about more than the money. We have students that are supposed to start clinicals this summer. They're, they're in limbo, they don't know what to do. Um, our, our, we have faculty and staff that have dedicated their lives to this institution and the students. Crooks says he hopes to discuss the future of the school and staff employment during their board meeting in March. With more local news, I'm Leslie Huff.